Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm in Chicago at SMTAI and I'm joined by Tom Forsyth from Kaizen. Tom, great to see you again. Good to see you. Last time, maybe last time, maybe the time before we spoke, you'd introduced a, a solution for a smart factory and that's not something we'd normally associate with a cleaning company. Tell me a bit about that and how that's gone in the market. Absolutely. Well, we've always been focused on people getting the maximum value from our products. Terrific products focused on the needs, but yet how can people use them? The, the control and the monitoring of that stuff had always been uh, a bit of an orphan. So we'd always done it for years, wasn't, wasn't the highest tech stuff, quite functional, quite effective. Well, last year we introduced our, our Kaizen Analyst, which, which brought this Industry 4.0 uh, concept into the cleaning world from a monitoring perspective. And our, what we've been busy doing this past year is expanding that into our, our uh, process control systems, the PCSs that we've been selling since, oh goodness, the 90s somewhere. Uh, that now monitor several dozen variables. And, and this really does two things. One, of course, as, as with all factory automation, it starts with data. So you're, you're capturing all this data that's possible. We can set uh, control bands and send you know, the usual either text or digital or email or, of course, sound a horn or something, uh, sort of alerts. But you also have the data to come back and, and do uh, after action analysis. Say, say a claim comes in a year from now and you're trying to document that it wasn't you. Uh, well, you want, okay, you've already got systems that say, when did this barcode go through this machine or wherever? Well, I've got all the data that proves that everything was absolutely tickety-boo, so there's, there's no issue there. Uh, our data, we do segregate. We don't capture the, uh, the barcode stuff because we want it to be independent of product so it can go to the cloud without any security risk because just like the weather data, you know, just, okay, it's, we're in Chicago and the sun's out, but we're inside. It doesn't matter to us. It has nothing to do with us. Well, if I'm storing the data on what the cleaning machine was doing at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but I don't know what was going through it, I don't have any security risks. So we, we've kind of addressed it from that perspective. And it's, it's been uh, very popular. People look at the data and they go, oh yeah, okay, I get this immediately. And it's so enabling because the, the, there's several different graphic displays, presentations, uh, one of which is, is uh, kind of what you see in the ICU, uh, bar graphs. Or, or line graphs, where you line them all up, you can slide the variables around so the ones you're interested in can be right next to each other, and all of a sudden, it's a time curve, right? You can see exactly when things change. It's 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 very handy. It's yeah, very handy. and you talk about all those customizable dashboards and stuff. Data is a really important element. The next important stage, and I think it's the stage we're moving to with Industry 4.0, is using that data in an intelligent way and creating some kind of learning system. So how does that feedback loop work and what can the data that's coming from your process do to influence and make the whole process better? Well, and that's where the control part comes in. And, and interestingly enough, we had the, we literally had the cart before we had the horse and the, the, the process control systems 20 years ago were monitoring a few variables, thinking, taking action, changing the process, add a little water, add a little cleaning agent, you know, that sort of thing. And at this point now what we're doing is bringing a richer data experience to that so that we're, we're, we're still staying in that same band of we're worried about making sure the wash tank functions effectively and we're controlling that. As we move forward, obviously there's an opportunity to control more. And, and we see this as, as the, the very early days in, uh, in just revolutionizing the cleaning control area because it's cleaning's coming back. I mean, the reality is we've, we've got all these devices, our life depends on them. It's no longer an inconvenience if something fails. Cleaning is a modest cost to, ensure, to uh, help with that reliability and, and that long-lived asset. Uh, the more, it, it becomes more critical to the overall process. So we just continue to gonna push the technology, get more data, better, better delivery, better accessibility. What else can we control that's, again, in cleaning, that's, our, that's what we're doing here, and then tying those pieces together to, uh, to help this piece of the process run uh, seamlessly. Yeah, and you talk about the, the different areas, and I, traceability, for me, that's a given, and it used to be a given maybe in medical and automotive, now it's everywhere. Intelligence, that's become a very important aspect of it. For me, the third aspect is how can you crowdsource data? So can you take data that is anonymously driven to the cloud and use that holistically from multiple companies to actually improve either your process Absolutely. or Absolutely, that, that, that potential is there. And that's the key of keeping it independent of what the customer's product is. By, by, seg by not even capturing that data, there's, there's no risk of, of, uh, of compromising it because you don't have it in the first place. And there are absolutely trends. We've got lots of these systems out in the field right now, and we're already starting to see some of those learnings. Things that because we are a, a careful observer, 
we felt were happening, this is what is going on, but until you have the data, you're not 100% sure. Uh, and then when you have the data, well, yeah, this is kind of what we thought, and, and here's the deal. And it's great learnings for the customer because now we can show cause and effect and say, here's, you know, here's why these best practices are best practices, and here's why not considering those best practices is not the best choice. Perfect. Well, Tom, thanks for stopping by and telling me all about it. I think it's an exciting product that is really going to bed well into the industry and become part of this holistic industry 4.0 so. solution. Thank you so much. Thank you.